today's encouraging word. Today's word comes from Psalm chapter 46, verse number 10. And it reads, Be still and know that I am God. You know, we live in a very hectic world, very fast-paced world. There are so many things that are calling for our attention. We have our jobs, we have our families, we have our children and the various activities that they're involved in. We have all the activities that just seem to always be pulling at us. It's a hectic, rush, rush world. But the Bible says that if we are going to know God, that we have to be still. That means that we're going to have to develop the discipline in this hectic world to slow down so that we could hear our Lord's voice. And God knows who He is. God is God. And He knows that He is worthy for us to slow down and take time for Him. God is not going to shout over our noise. He's not going to interrupt our activities and demand that we listen to Him. But rather, He expects us to come to Him as God and to reverence Him and to be still before Him so that we can hear His voice. I'm reminded of the story in 1 Kings chapter 19 when Elijah went up to the mountaintop. And the Bible tells us that there was a great and mighty wind. And then there was an earthquake. And after the earthquake, there was a fire. But in none of that did Elijah hear God's voice. But after all that was over, the Bible says, and then there was a still, small voice. So after all the noise, after all the fire, the wind, and the earthquake, God spoke to Elijah. He spoke to him with a still, small voice. God is the, is the same God today, and he speaks to his people in a still, small voice. But if we're going to hear it, we're going to have to learn to be quiet, to be still. Now, that doesn't mean that we have to uh, stop all of our activities, but it does mean that throughout our day, we must take some time and set it aside and give it unto God to stop rushing around, to stop answering the phone and watching television and doing all those things and say, I want to hear from the God of my salvation. So today I encourage you, take some time. I know you're busy. I know you have a lot of things on your plate. I know your to-do list is probably pretty long. But take some time today to be still. Because as you do, the Bible has a promise for you that in the stillness, you will know God. That's it for me. God bless you. This has been today's encouraging word, and it's my prayer that you will meditate on these things.